first time that Irina has seen this film, right? she's a, a little bit moved uh, by the experience, understandably. So uh, perhaps we might start uh, first uh, with you, Matt. Um, I first became interested uh, in Belarus in a serious way uh, back in 2009 uh, when I met Sasha uh, um, Baleski, uh, who was um, one of the presidential candidates uh, who had been in prison for about two years. Um, and uh, after our meeting together in Oslo, uh, he uh, was imprisoned uh, in relation uh, to the events that you saw. Um, in this, in this film. Um, Matt, you worked uh, with Juan as Kelly um, in, in doing this film. And I remember um, when we had uh, a crew um, in Turkmenistan who had disappeared. Uh, I don't know if Juan has told you this story, but we had, we had four people in Turkmenistan doing something uh, who all disappeared. and worried out of our brains. But at that same moment, um, Juan had a call um, and you um, were having problems at about to be detained and we wanted you to, to delete everything in your phone and so on. So t can you speak a little bit about what the working conditions were like uh, in making this film? You're undercover. Um, obviously there's some freedom of movement um, but also at the same time some surveillance. So can you speak about how, how you manage uh, practically uh, to film under cover. When I, I, I've been uh, to a few times, well, three times, I and um, um, the second time I went, I had a cover story that I was a student trying to, uh, I wanted to learn Russian. Um, and so I had to spend two days visiting various universities and, and Russian departments and things. Um, and when I filmed meeting various members of the opposition going to where Lukashenko uh, came from. Um, which I have to say was actually quite easy. We, we stayed in the car, we never got out of the car. Um, we kept the cameras very well hidden. But when I arrived in Minsk for that second trip, I, I had hired, a, I had uh, rented a flat through the same people I always rented a flat from. And they were driving me from the airport to this park. Um, and they stopped outside the KGB headquarters. Um, and my heart sank. And I thought they were playing some kind of practical joke, but they weren't. The flat I was staying in was next door to the KGB. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then on the way out, and, and Juan has told me that story when I was leaving Minsk, um, they stopped me at the airport and, and took me into a, into, a, uh, into a room. But I managed to text Juan and say, they're keeping me. <laughs> Um, and yeah, they, they had, they, it was strange because they knew some of the places I'd been, they knew some of the people I'd met, but they didn't know everything. Um, and why they hadn't stopped me before, I don't know. Maybe because they wanted to, to get the material, I think they wanted my material. Uh, how do you think they knew some of the places you'd seen, some of the people you met? What, is, it, is this uh, human sources or is it a telephone interception? What is it? It, it could have been any of those. I mean, it could have been people telling them. It could have been they were following me, but not following me the whole of the time. Um, but I think they left it until the very end because they wanted the material. Uh, but luckily, I had uh, managed to get it out across the border to Poland, so I didn't have anything on me. Although they didn't believe me, and I was I was still searched. How, how did you come to um, interact with the Belarusian community and, and want to make this film? I first went, I think it was like year 2009, I, I went there to make a documentary for the BBC on the Belarus Free Theatre. Um, and, and was just amazed at the work that they do and the people that I met, one of which was um, Irina's brother, Andre. And I've interviewed him several times um, as a journalist. You'd started making the film before he was imprisoned or after? Not this one. Not no. this one. We, we started making this film, I was with Irina on the night of the the election that you saw in this film, we were screening um, my, the, the first documentary that we made on Belarus at, um, in central London at Index on Censorship in solidarity with the opposition because it was the night of the election. And we were in a situation like this, we were receiving uh, emails, tweets uh, from Andre and other members of the opposition and things seemed to be going really well. And 
and then towards the end of the event it emerged that actually that wasn't the case. Um, and since that moment, Irene has found it very hard to get over the <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>